Uh, Coach, there was a play in which it looked like Jabari Small <laughs> might have scored. And I wonder, what, how do you determine whether or not to hurry up and run a play or wait for a review or a challenge? Yeah, in a situation like that, they, they held it. They'll generally hold it. The center judge will stand over the ball, won't let you run another play. So as they were reviewing it, you know, we, we've got the TV screens now in, in the box. We're on about a 12-second delay, so we're looking at it, see if we need one. We had the offense ready. We had our next play dialed up. But they won't let you snap the ball anymore with the communication the, the refs have. They'll just stand over the ball. But how do you decide whether to challenge or not? Didn't need to challenge it because they're, they're going to stand and hold over the ball. Any of those types of plays, they'll always review. And then, like I said, we're on a 12-second delay, so we'll be able to see it. And then we've got one guy designated in the box on each side of the ball that'll tell us, man, it's, it's close. Like, hey, we should if the end result isn't what we want. Um, but obviously, in that case, it looked good. There's enough angles. A game like that, there's enough angles where you can tell. Uh, in a lot of games, especially the game the other day, when you guys start, Tim Banks is bringing pressure immediately. Then your offense is scoring quickly. Then Banks is bringing pressure. Um, what, what do you? What effect do you guys hope to have on the opponent in that sort of frenetic pace? Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of control over what Coach Banks is doing. Although he's sitting two seats over, and, and I can kind of hear it. Um, I'm I'm more worried about the next drive. Um, for for us, it's it's what we do. It's it's what Coach Heupel wants. It's <laughs> aggressive on both sides of the ball. That's how we play. Uh, that's what the kids know. Um, you know, for us, we know going in, here's where we're going to go. Uh, as long as it looks like what we thought it would look like, the, the kids know how we're rolling and what we're doing. Uh, but really proud of the way that they started. Uh, really proud of the, the start our group got. Um, obviously, the key when you get up like that is now you got to continue to keep your foot on the gas. And, and Coach Hype told us Friday we're going to be aggressive the whole time. And, let us be aggressive the whole time. So how much, and this would be a, a question, I guess, for Coach Happel, but how much is there a partnership, you think, their offense to defense to have the same type of pressure approach? Yeah, I think it's just the philosophy as, as a program from Coach Heupel that we're going to be aggressive on both sides of the ball. Um, we're aggressive on special teams. I think it's just what we do. The whole program is that way. We're, we're building towards that every week, and, and you know, it – I, like I said, that'd be a great question for Coach Hype. But as coordinators, for all three of us, it's it's an aggressive approach in everything we do. It's how we coach. It's how we recruit. It's it's the way this program has to be. Is that we're going to be aggressive in everything we do. I don't know if I answered your question, but we're we're playing fast on offense, trying to score every play. C coach, with, with Jalen Hyatt catching five touchdowns, is it just a, a mat create matchups, finding something you guys liked and kept going at it, or kind of? How do you get a guy five touchdowns against a defense like Alabama? Yeah, I think I think for us offensively, it's it's finding those matchups and then trying to exploit them. Um, I, I, if you're asking if I knew he was going to catch five touchdowns going in that game, I don't know. Uh, I'm just so proud of who Jalen Hyde has become. Um, you know, a year ago this time, I don't know that we we would have sat here and said he's going to catch five touchdowns against Alabama. Um, the, the growth within our program, I, I'm more proud of him in that sense than maybe anybody else within, within our room uh, because he took the challenges he was presented with a year ago, most of them brought on by himself, and just kept working. He's the same guy that every evening in the summer he's on the jugs. Every single time Hendon was out there throwing, Jalen Hyatt was who he was throwing to. And so – and, and I'm not singling Jalen out because Ramel is there and Cedric is there and, and Brew when he got here. And really that whole wideout group, Kelsey's done an incredible job of creating, taking what, what we had going and just continuing to build on the culture in that room and really the culture in all of our rooms. And you don't always see the end result of that, right? You don't end up on the winning side of it. And all we talk about daily is control your process. And we talked about it again on Monday that – the only thing that matters is our process. And Jalen is a byproduct of that. And I couldn't be more proud of how he's attacked his process. And that, that's the result that happened. It could have happened that way, could not have. He could have reaped the rewards of it. He could not have. But long run, who Jalen Hyatt has become is, is 
totally a credit to what Coach Hype has built here in terms of we're process oriented. We just continue to plug, and the end result is what what the end result is going to be. But but what Jalen has done is a is a true example of what this program, what we have worked so hard as a whole group to build here, which is a process based program that continues to develop young people and. I'm so proud of it, of him and what he's been able to do. And then you see him at practice today, and it's like nothing ever happened. Like all he's working is on perfecting his craft and coaching Squirrel and coaching Jimmy Calloway and just who Jalen has become. Like, like if you can have that every day from an entire program, special things can happen. Coach, I know it's not just you. You're part of a team. How rewarding was it professionally to – 52 points on that team, 567 yards of total offense, given the stage, given the opponent, given the stakes. Yeah, I, I think just rewarding is a good wor word. I think just the amount of work, it was an emotional end to it, and I got to see my wife and kiddos on the field um, right as, at the end of it. The amount of work everybody has put in is the rewarding part. Uh, it, it's We got here January 28th. A year and a half ago and it's been it's been a lot of work to say the least I think just to to reap the rewards of that is obviously rewarding I think for all of us our families the player families the guys that stayed here a lot of guys that didn't and the guys that stayed here and have poured into our coaching staff our coaching staff in return has poured into them I think the end result was going to be what the end result was going to be like like we don't control the true end result of that. But the, the fact that our kids just continue to play hard, we played really hard in that game offensively. Our O-line played really hard, our wideouts played really hard, our tight ends, running backs, the quarterback. The, the rewarding part is that we went into that game and we expected to win. And I told those guys on Friday that you have earned the right to be confident. You earn the right to be confident throughout the week and how we practice Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and their process leading up to it. And I keep using that word, but like you have to earn the right to win every week. And you earn the right to win every week and how you control your process and, and how we practice and how we study film and the extra time it takes. There's a lot that goes into a win. There's a lot that goes into just playing a game. And the rewarding part is for everybody involved, including our families. That's why I bring up my family, like to see them and everything they've sacrificed. Like that's the rewarding part. And whoever gets credit gets credit. I, I, I don't think it's about any single person, but just to see that stadium the way it was, like these people that that pay astronomical amounts of money to come to these games and pack that place out and actually having a real home field advantage, it's rewarding for everybody. But it's an end result of the the, pro, the process that we have poured into it. Our players is where it starts. Coach, a little bit of X's and O's. You guys have really, the last two weeks, condensed the field in some short yardage situations, got tight. Why has that been so productive for you guys? Because you know, this offense is so based on spreading everybody out. Why has squeezing it down in those situations been productive for you guys? Yeah, the offense is based on creating matchups so whether those matchups are spread out or those matchups are tight it's creating matchups um i think we talked about it in the spring we talked about it in the summer continue and create variation in what we do more so than are we tight or are we wide just continuing with tempo to create different pictures um, and we've been able to grow in every facet offensively but that's just part of it is Man, in certain situations, we need to condense it to be able to create some edges. And you saw us able to condense it to play, to go back out and able to condense it to stay in. But it's staying balanced is the key to the whole deal and building from week to week. And, you know, next week there will be a different wrinkle to it. And that's our job to figure out those wrinkles. But we've played tight. We haven't played tight consistently. I think that's been the growth within our offense is the ability to play tight, then play wide, then tight, then wide. And and to create confusion in some ways, uh, to create extra gaps in some ways. Um, but, but I think as we evolve offensively, that's part of it. I know the, the under center question a year ago, hopefully we've answered that. Um, we took it as a challenge and, and we have answered the bell there. Um, but just continuing to evolve and create different pictures for defenses to obviously be less predictable. 
it's got to be a UT Martin question, right? <sighs> Second part of my question is UT Martin. Gotcha. Uh, first part is uh, about recruiting. Obviously, it kind of goes without being said that this weekend was huge for you all and recruiting. But just from your perspective, what's it been like the last couple of days hearing from recruits just about the environment and, and, and how much has there been an uptick in recruiting these last couple of weeks with wins over Florida, LSU, and Alabama? Yeah. Um, you know, those, those young people and their families that were there on Saturday, I think similar to the, the Florida game, um, and in a lot of ways, similar to every home game, you know, when you sell out the Akron game, that's a statement. Um, I think what when you're you've spent the last 18 months selling something and then they get to see it, um, that's monumental. Um, I think kids want to be a part of a, a winning program. It's one thing to sell it. It's another for them to actually see it. Um, but it's been it's been a lot more fun to make those phone calls. Um, you know, I think we we now feel like a year and a half in, like those relationships are established. And I think you need some of those types of wins to stamp you, um, to actually say, man, we are making progress. We're the same football team we were, you know, before the season started in terms of who we are and what we're about and the culture that hype is set here. But I think just seeing the end result has certainly helped, especially locally. Um, you know, in, in Tennessee and Georgia and Alabama, some of the North Carolina, like the, the local states where the attention has been so big. Um, but obviously, we got to capitalize and we got to continue to play well and, and that it's not just, man, it's we're on a hot streak. Like, this is who we are as a program. We need more talent. We need to fill the roster out. We need to replace key, key positions as we go. I think kids understand that. I think it's been monumental. UT Martin. Yeah, really excited. Big game in state. It'll be awesome. Thank you, guys. Go balls.